What's up, weirdos? We are back for part two of the Red Current Seed Saving Saga. And uh, as you can see, it's been about 10 days or so, and our seeds are nice and dry. As you can see, very dry. Uh, it's, it's the middle of winter, so my house is very dry this time of year. Uh, so what I did was I just let them sit on the paper plates. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video, go back and check it. Uh, it is uh, just basically how to save uh, current seeds, uh, and we're gonna go. And honestly, you you can do this with any any seed. Um, you can do this with raspberry seeds, blueberry seeds, whatever kind of seeds they are. You can you can do this process, and it works. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start on the stratification process. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this little uh, sandwich bag, and I'm gonna use. A little paper towel here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half. Okay. It's kind of hard to do holding my phone in one hand and doing this in the other. But I'm going to go ahead and fold that in half. And we're going to wet that down a little bit. Now, not too much because we don't want it to be saturated. We want it to be kind of spongy whenever we put it in the bag. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to put a little bit of water in. Not too much. Just enough so that it soaks it up. Right? Just enough that it soaks it up. And then we're going to put some currants in. Uh, now, you can see we've got lots of seeds here. I don't need to put all these seeds in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put probably, I don't know, 30, 40 seeds in at least. Uh, and then after that, um, I'll probably save some. And then I'm going to save probably a dozen or so. And I'm actually going to plant those because uh, I want to see uh, kind of what our germination rates are. Um, just planting them straight in the soil without stratifying and then of course uh, most of them will be stratified but uh, I do want to see if it changes the germination rates or not. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we might get 30, 40 to germinate hopefully uh, or we might get five or six. I don't know but we will find out so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay so I went ahead and put all the seeds in there. I tried to spread them out as much as I could. Uh, you can see it is nice and moist in here, nice and wet but not saturated. That's, uh, it's just kind of, kind of spongy-ish, right? Spongy. Uh, so it looks pretty nice. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that in the fridge. But before I do that, I'm going to label that. Because, uh, we definitely want to label our stuff, guys. The last thing you want to do is, uh, not label something and then you're going to be a very confused person. So make sure you label it. I'm going to put down, uh, the day that I put these in. I'm going to write down what they are, red currants. Uh, so we'll write that in there and then we're going to put this in the fridge and we're going to leave it in there for about a month Close to a month. It might be a little more than a month, but we're going to keep an eye on these um, Pretty much every day after that month uh, Goes by uh, because we want to make sure that these aren't uh, germinating because if they start germinating We're going to want to pull these out and we're going to want to go ahead and plant them into the soil So that is the plan as you can see I got a lot in here probably closer to a hundred but I'm really curious to see how they do, how they germinate. So that is the plan. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the fridge. And then the rest of these, I'm going to go ahead and save these. And I'm going to put them in this little bag right here. And then we can save those for next year or the year after. And they should still be good. Uh, and then again, I'm going to grab probably about a dozen of these. And I'm going to plant those into a little, uh, a little plant pot. And we will get those started, and uh, hopefully those will germinate. Now, these should definitely germinate. All right, guys, I went ahead and I put the currants in the fridge. I laid them flat on the bottom of the fridge, and you can see we have our other seeds right here, and I labeled it. Very nice. Got lots of them there. And these are the ones that I'm going to plant. Now, I took, our, my, I took my popsicle stick here, and I just kind of made a few little holes here about, I don't know, an eighth to a quarter inch deep. And that's where we're gonna put our seeds. I'm just gonna do one per hole. Because I wanna see what my, or my, what my germination rate is here. Let's see if we can do this without making a big mess. <laughs> there we go, so there's three. Nope, oh, missed that one. Easy way to do is just push this in with the popsicle stick. There we go. Push that in. Okay. All right, so we got them all planted. I'm going to go ahead and push this soil back down a little bit. And we're going to see how these do. This is going to be an experiment because I don't know 
I don't know how well these are going to do because, again, I just, I just saved the seeds a week ago. I don't know if they're going to need to stratify or not, but we will find out. So there you go. That is uh, basically how to plant current seeds. Pretty easy to do. I'm just going to go ahead and tap this down a little bit. Make sure it gets good contact with the soil, and it should be good. There you go. Very nice. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, let that do its thing. I do have a, uh, a heating pad I can put this on, and that should speed the process up a little bit. But again, we will check the rest of our currants in about a month from now. And again, you can do this with raspberry seeds, blackberry seeds, blueberry seeds, basically any kind of berry seed. Uh, this works very, uh, very easily. So you can do this with pretty much anything. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, check back in about a month or so. We'll see how those seeds are doing, if they're starting to sprout. And then we can go ahead and put those into some soil. And then we're going to see if these guys sprout at all. I'm really curious to see. So we will find out. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like. And let me know what you thought in the comments. Share it with your friends. Subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.